The Navy admits it's struggling to fill the high-tech jobs available aboard our next generation of modern warships. Tim Collett's caught up with a new batch of recruits excited at their future on the high seas. Proud young Australians committed to serving Queen and Country. And I resist our enemies. And faithfully discharge my duties. And faithfully discharge my duties. Proud mums and dads too. A bit moved at the moment. Yeah. 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 Busy, mate. yeah, big time. We've been pretty close. Some saw the signs of a Navy career early. When he used to play with all the boats in the bathtub. <laughs> For others, it's more a family tradition. Uh, my older brother is up in Darwin and my twin is out at sea at the moment. It's like, where's all the girls? <laughs> but it's cool. These 28 men and women are Queensland's contribution to the latest Navy intake, about a third of the national numbers. I'm more excited than scared and all that. Um, just can't wait to get it started. Navy says recruit numbers are healthy, but admits getting high achieving Gen Ys to sign up to crew the next generation of warships is tougher. The new landing helicopter dock ships that we're going to see arriving in Australia at the end of this year, uh, the air warfare destroyers coming online. However, fully paid for university courses are helping fill the gaps. Oh, I'm going into submariner, so becoming an electronics technician submariner. Signing up with Navy for for between four and six years is still a tough sell though. And there'll barely be any time for second thoughts from here. These recruits jump straight on a plane down to Victoria and by tonight they'll be tucked up in bed at their Navy training base, HMAS Cerberus. Induction day one of 80 starts tomorrow. Tim Collins, 10 News.